Rakata Yahu, Rakata Yahu Shah, Rakata Yahu, Rakata Yahu Shah, Rakata Yahu, Rakata Yahu Shah. All praises and honor and glory due to Yahu Bashim Yahu Shah. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone out of New York who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect, the Akim out there risking their lives and their freedom on the four corners of the earth spreading this gospel. All right. In, in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. It's the brother Yaramaya from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. Basically coming to you with a lesson about what's going on in the world. Alright, what's going on in Houston really. And what's going on in the world. And basically these are the signs of the end times man. And the prophecies being manifested right before your eyes. Alright, and, and, and the Lord told you so. Okay, this is 2nd address 9 and 4 in Apocrypha. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as, as all that is made in the world have a beginning in the end, and the end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And that's what we've seen. We're seeing even so the time, verse 6, 2nd Edges 9 and 6. Even so, the times of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and ending in, in effects and signs. And it's ending in effects and signs, those wonders and those powerful works. There's earthquakes in diverse places, nation rising against nation, seditious amongst men, okay? <clears throat> These disasters, whether they was orchestrated, those hurricanes or whatnot, whether they was orchestrated by the so-called white man or just whether it was really a natural disaster, it's all the works of the Lord. The most high sin of judgment. I write the scriptures saying in the book of Proverbs, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. Just like it's going, the Most High going to put it in their heart to destroy this place with ICBM missiles. He put it in their heart to put this judgment on Jake, man. That's why, especially with the so-called white man, because he's the sword against Israel. That's why I said in Revelations, I think it's the 12th chapter and 12th verse, this devil is coming up down with great wrath, man. And that's talking about Esau, Edom, who was the so-called white man, the devil. But the Most High spoke these things, so you niggas can get it. All right, those of you that's gonna get it, but he still spoke it to the um, to the unlearned, you know, so they would know that it's him. Cause Jake know the Most High is real. All right, but uh, they hard headed. This is Isaiah forty eight and three. It said, "I have declared the former thing from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth. I showed and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass." So he said, "I showed you this. I told you it was gonna happen, and then it came to pass. Why?" Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is as iron sinew, and thy broad brass, meaning you're hard headed. And I have, and I have, Salaki, verse Isaiah 48 and 5, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee, before it came to pass, I showed it. Lest thou shouldest say, My idol have done them, and my graven image, and my molten image have commanded them. Because this was all the Yahweh Bosh hit me, how shot. So you people can't say it happened no other type of way, man. Alright? Ain't no prophecies coming out of Islam, okay? Or, or, the, or the Kemet, or the Bagab Gita, or the Buddhism, or whatever the hell you niggas into. Out the flat earth doctrine. This is Matthew 24 and 7. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. These are the beginning of sorrows. Salaki, Matthew 24 and 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And the Lord Yahweh Shai. Himself, who the world falsely called Jesus, he preached it, the same destruction. He said, We just read it. These are the beginning of sorrows, four sword judgment. Pursuing to Jeremiah, I think that's the uh, 15th chapter, and the second verse around there. Okay, this back in 2nd Edris. 2nd Edris 8 and 54. Sorrows are past, and in the end, it showed the treasures of immortality. All right, verse 5. I mean, 2nd Edris 8 and 55. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of, of them that perish and that's the two-thirds of Israel okay for when they had taken liberty they despised the law of the Most High thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways they think it's cool to commit adultery they think it's cool to smoke they think it's cool to just be rebellious ass hard head niggas scoffing against the men that taught them all the laws of the Most High man every single law of the Most High niggas is conscious they think it's cool to go to church to deal with Islam, to celebrate Christmas. That's thinking scorn of the Most High's law, man. That's despising the Most High's law. The Most High's law is totally against that. To be homosexuals and lesbians. Alright? Second Edris 8 and 57. 
it said, Moreover, they have trotted down the righteous, his righteous, which are the men keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. All right. Verse 58 And said in their heart that there is no God, yea, and that knowing this, they must die. For as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught. Hey, but, but they wicked as all hell. That's why he said thirst and pain coming for him. Force or judgments, rape, murder, calamities, atrocities on a big scale has to come to this place, man. So all that was orchestrated. This is the most I showed you through the signs. This is the end time. It's here. Repent and get right while the gates of um, repentance are still open. All right. Houston does have a problem. And it's called Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The whole world has a problem, man. The most high is sick of this place, man. And the, and the evil things you wicked ass niggas are doing. And you other nations as well. But with that being said, all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Devil honor to the elder. It's a great millstone. And salutation to the hopeful elect. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.